Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jennifer De La Pena, and I'm running for VP of Communications. So why SSHP, and why did I join SSHP? Well, SSHP has a lot to offer on the state, regional, and local levels. And um, being an active member for two years, I've experienced all of these benefits firsthand through all their workshops and seminars. Uh, through the Residency Mentorship Social, I actually met a PGY2 who introduced me to everything TSHP and SSHP has to offer. And I want to give back to SSHP through uh, becoming an officer and also by becoming an advocate for SSHP. So some strengths about me that I can provide for this position include creativeness, organizational skills, and overall hard work towards the organization. And I will go over um, the strengths in the next coming slide. And I've served as a leader in SCCP, Kappa Psi, and UHCOP as a summer camp coordinator. These experiences that I've learned in these positions, I hope to transition over to SSHP. So why do I want to apply for the role of communications VP? Well, after reaching out to both communications VP for the past two years, Julia and Sara, I have a very, uh, I fully understand the expectations and responsibilities involved in this position. I've included the role of VP of communications as long, as long, along with my past experiences so you understand what I can do so I can transition seamlessly into this position. The first being showcasing SSHP at mid-year for recognition and accreditation. As public relations for SCCP, I was responsible for advocating and showcasing SCCP through P1 orientation. As American Pharmacist Month committee member, I was responsible for organizing American Pharmacist Month along with um, advocating and fighting for our profession. Introduction of fields in pharmacy during Pharmacy Week. So as a summer camp coordinator, I was responsible for educating and also creating lesson plans in the fields of pharmacy along with residency and maintenance of Facebook and the website, along with organizing the SSHP calendar. As an outreach coordinator for Operation Naloxone, I was responsible for, one, creating Operation Naloxone's very first website and creating a master calendar for Operation Naloxone events, which means I kept track of the outreach events, the um, health, fair, health fairs, checkoff dates, and event reported and make sh made sure everything was set. Some goals that I have for next year but not all of the goals that I have include an appy iffy cheat sheet for P3s and uh, P1s and P2s that uh, is basically a streamlined amount of information from P4s, including the preceptor site, the presentation area, and also the location. So that way, uh, P3s don't have to reach out to every other P4. Instead, it's in a streamlined area for members to gain access to. Carpooling SSHP CEs at the CEs. Um, Attending a CE, I actually gained experience and met with some SSHP officers and got really close to them. So this is a really great opportunity to network with pharmacists, pharmacy students, and also residents. Um, addition of deadlines on calendars. So the SSHP calendar currently has every event that's happening, but they don't have the deadlines. So it's really important for us to know when TSHP deadline is or when to sign up for an event. And the fall and spring socials with the GCSHP chapter. This includes having um, having like a, a day at the rodeo in the spring or having a mentor-mentee social with the TSHP mentors. And improvements to the SSHP website include adding a resource tab just for members, having recent events under the events tab, and residents of SSHP, which is similar to Humans of New York. So um, thank you for listening. I hope to um, keep the current standard of excellence that the current and previous officers have held for SSHP. My name is Jennifer Della Pena, and I'm running for VP of Communications.